world-renowned latte artist, Michael Breach, at the waterfront in Cape Town. Michael, you are actually just finishing up making our News 24 Live logo in a latte. Yeah, actually. That's so exciting. You don't even sound as excited as I am, probably because you do this all the time. Oh yeah, all day long I've been having a great time though. Okay, so you've been actually here at your stand in the waterfront um, doing latte art the whole day. And I cannot believe the detail um, in these cups. How, how did, you, did you find out you could make art in coffee? Well, you know, I started out doing like the traditional latte art shapes and everything like that. And after a while, those just got less and less exciting to me. So I just started experimenting a bit with the coffee and seeing what I could do with it. You know, knowing that I could manipulate it very well. And I decided to one day, I just did like a co-worker space just for fun. Yeah. So then I sort of like, I scoured the internet seeing if anybody else did this and I realized that no one did. And I thought, you know, maybe I can be the guy that does this. So I sort of just saw this gap there and I saw how happy that the latte art was making people. So, you know, that's really what I, you know, what I go off of. Amazing, now how long does it take you to make one of these? It's take about like five minutes, yeah. five to seven minutes. It depends on how detailed I want to go. Like sometimes I want to add shading. I generally like to do all the shading and get it you know, as detailed as possible. Okay, well this latte art is taking you all over the world. What does it feel like? I mean, did you ever think that your latte art, when you were just being a barista, would take you all over the world? No, <laughs> definitely not. No, I, I mean, I, I was really like, I was hoping I would get a sponsorship with someone after a while. And yeah. you know, Nescafe was really happy to bring me over here and I'm, I'm happy to be here for them and their Dolce Gusto line. I've been, you know, working with them very closely. Are you enjoying Cape Town? Yeah, I love it here. The, <laughs> I love the food here. I've been eating like everything in sight. I'm glad you're enjoying it here. Now tell me about the art. Do you, are you an artist and other forms you draw, paint, or do you just stick to coffee? Well, it's, it's kind of funny. I'm kind of like, I was always a doodler. You know, I never really had the elaborate sketchbooks with pencils and pens. I've always had an artistic talent, but I never really um, found a medium that spoke to me so much yeah. until I started working with coffee. It, I can do a lot of things with it and effects with it that would take a long time on paper or with paint, but it, they happen very quickly with coffee. So I can, as soon as I think of something, I can just kind of create it there on the spot. Cool. What's been your most popular design to date? Oh, right. I mean, definitely it's been uh, Nelson Mandela yeah, so really? far here. Yeah, definitely here. It's been very popular. Now, does it upset you that it goes away? People drink it. It's not there anymore. Not really. I, I think that it, that's what makes it special, that it doesn't last forever. You know, it kind of reminds us that nothing lasts forever. and you got to savor the moment while you're savoring your coffee. Now, how can anyone watching this video check you out on Instagram, find all of your wonderful works of art? Oh, the best way to find me, and you can find all of my work from the very beginning, and you can actually see it progress and get better and better um, through my Instagram account, which is Baristart, and it's B-A-R-I-S-T-A-R-T. -A -A so it's one A and not two. Awesome, thank you for taking the time to chat with me, and now I'm going to drink this coffee with my face on it.